Hey guys, uh, today is Monday. We've got a day off in Crawley. Um, but we've actually got quite a fun day today. Me and George, say hello George. Everyone. We've just been and just got a sandwich from Pret. And now we're waiting at the train station and we're getting the train into London. Um, because tonight we're all going to see the Book of Mormon, which I'm well excited about. Um, so yes, yeah, so we're just waiting. We have got, oh, it's got an extra minute. Expected time is 14.30. Pete is currently on his way and he's got five minutes to get here. So let's see if he does it or not. Um, but yeah, so we've got a couple of drinks for the bus, uh, for the train. And I will take you along with us and we can have some fun. Pete has got three, oh, no, he's got two minutes until the train gets here, so he better get a move on. Do you think he's going to make it, George? <gasps> he's here. He's here. <laughs> nice one, Pete. Minutes to spare. Good morning. It's not actually the morning, guys. It is like half two. Okay. So it is allowed. There's the venue. Oh, yeah, lovely. There she is. That's where we'll be tomorrow. All right. Cheers. 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 Everybody else has joined us. Yeah, we're fulfilling our uh, cocktail, cock dreams. Uh, we just finished in the casino, and I don't even think I don't think I vlogged the uh, the cocktails, which is annoying because they were really lovely. But now we're heading to Chinatown. We're gonna go and get some food. Lost all our money. Yeah, lost our money. <laughs> Rudy's getting his picture in front of the arch. It's a Chinese dumplingy type thing filled with custard, apparently. In one. Yeah. In one. <laughs> <laughs> custard just comes out of his ears. <laughs> what we're thinking? You did that way too easily, my man. Okay. Ooh, I'm not worse than in my mouth. <laughs> All right, so like the grainy custard. Oh no. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, it's curdled. No. Yeah. Slightly so grainy. Yeah. Oh. Well, I, think, I don't think we've done too bad. Oh. Pretty much <laughs> defeated. Yeah. I mean, I actually feel sick. Do you? I can't believe they served those no. groups of four. Thank you. I had the broccoli that was absolutely <laughs> delicious, by the way. Here we are. What is? What's new? What's yes. new? The Shake Shack. Oh, they're amazing. Are you excited? To what? For the for the show. 
popcorn, there's going to be problems. You're excited, Pete? I am, because I'm excited about everything. Always excited. <laughs> We're in. We're in. We've got in. What did you think of it? Um, Out of 10, did you enjoy it? Was it funny? Would you recommend? It was funny. I would recommend a 10 and 8. Okay, very good, yeah. Right, Pete. Hi. What did you think? Um, it's a great, great musical. Great for people that don't like musicals because it's a piss take of a musical. Yeah. Uh, Out of 10? Oh, good solid, solid eight or nine, eight and a half. Yeah. Um, can you pass you, like, the foot oh, power station? Oh, look at that for a view. George, what did you think of the Book of Mormon? <laughs> well, strong, strong nine out of ten. Nine out of ten, yeah. strong nine out of ten, wow. Yeah, it was very well, good, wasn't it? Well, the production quality one day will be... It will be modernised, yeah. but it ultimately, for, for a show that's been around for 15 years, still selling out on a Monday night. Can I, can I There's a lot to be said for that. Yeah, of course you can. Musically, I thought it was actually pretty really cool. Like, there were bits where I couldn't really hear what they were saying. Like, the, the PA was very good. No, and then it was suddenly, the yeah, and then suddenly at the end, it suddenly went really, really, really loud. For no reason. Could it not have been that loud all the way through? I have an issue with musicals, they're always too quiet. Yeah. Guys, just a quick one. Uh, what did you think of the Book of Mormon? Loved it. Great. Out of ten. Out of ten? Oh, it's, it's definitely like a solid eight and a half. I was going to say eight and a half too. Yeah. Who's your favourite character? <coughs> yeah. Who's your, who your favourite character? Um, our Elder Cunningham. It's got to be. Yeah, it's got to be, hasn't it? Adorable. And then the second one, the second one would have to be... Uh, the blonde one. Yes. In all the crew. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. I really loved it. It's a feather on one of the cameras. Um, yes, the Book of Mormon. I would definitely recommend. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> yeah. I know you're zooming in probably, but we'll just go with it. Um, really enjoyed it. I'm probably going to agree with the other guys, eight and a half out of ten at least. Uh, very good, would definitely recommend, and I would definitely recommend to people that aren't really into musicals. It's a good one to go to, I think. Overall, very enjoyable day. Uh, today we're in Leicester. Um, we did have a gig yesterday in Crawley, but you know what? After the London day off, I was absolutely shattered. So literally just chilled and really didn't do a lot. So yeah, there was there was just no point. Who wants to see me do nothing? Um, so yeah, so we're in Leicester today. So I've just showered, got ready, and now we're we'll off for burgers. Uh, if you've watched some of my previous vlogs, you will know Boo Burgers because I've done them before but yeah we're going there for lunch so see you there we're here they're coming you go everywhere they go all the way i could just go around and go just finished our burgers. I also had chicken wings because I'm greedy. Although saying that, I'm just really hungry and I feel really nicely full. Everybody's been and got their uh, 
the show supplies. All good to go for another day off ease. Oh, look who's here. Who's here? Who's Gotta here? get him on the vlog. He's on the vlog. Lord off. <laughs> hey guys, just in Birmingham, it's a day off. I'm with um, James and Pete. And they're just getting the haircut. Uh, well, Pete's getting his haircut look here first. Um, me and James are just at the, the in house bar at the barbers. I'm having a gin and tonic whilst I'm watching them get the hair done. Pete's had his hair done. And now we're just chilling, glass of wine, waiting for James. Yeah, James is over there getting his hair done. Hey guys, now I'm in Albert Schloss um, on my own, on my Todd. I think George is going to meet me later and maybe some other guys. Um, but yeah, just having a drink on my own because why the hell not? I love this place. It's one in Manchester, which I've been to before. Um, but yeah, it's just really cool. I'll show you. There's also a photo booth, which I want to do. So I'll do that later when people come. Everybody's joined me now. I was so buying into that right now. Well, he said it. Like, oh, it's not anymore. It's like a pina colada. Oh, I don't know. Solid. We're here in the shoe in Birmingham, ready to have the curry. Oh yeah, let's go. Take it away! Hey guys, we're in the shoe, as Henry has just said. Uh, I just thought we have just been in Albert Schloss and we've taken some photo booth pictures. On my Instagram, you'll be able to see those in a clearer fashion. So head over to my Instagram, just Howard One. And uh, yeah, check those out. Hey guys, just got the drinks in. 
you can, he, so his, his workshop, you can imagine. And uh, I went for the. Um, it's a Calada Cabana. Cabana Calada. Calada Cabana. Calada Calada. Calada Calada. Calada. And let me tell you. I've seen that a few times. Um, right. Absolutely delicious, dangerous because I can't taste the alcohol. Definitely alcohol. Two rums. Two rums. And it's bloody. There we go. Stereo rum. Yeah, so ordered the Calava Calada, but it's bloody divine. So what's it called? Calava Calada. If I say that three times, Calava Calada, Calava Calada, Calava Calada, Calava Calada. Big dip, little dip. Yeah. No, don't do that. Don't do it at all. Absolutely. Yeah. 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 Yeah.